streamer. Yes, and last night's stream was kind of weird. I was actually on the phone um, with an old friend. I'm just drawing my baby hairs. Not drawing my baby hairs. Um, Cause why not? This friend was back when I was a teenager friend. And um, we definitely had some history, I'm gonna say. This person was low key confessing their love. And I don't know how to feel about that. These days, when it comes to relationships and love, I don't know how to feel about none of it, to be quite honest. And yeah, I think my dreams definitely correlated with the conversations we was having right before I fell asleep. So I'm kind of waking up with that, that kind of energy. I feel the emotion still. Um, it wasn't bad <laughs> as I'm <laughs> waving the Palo Santo. The dream actually didn't have nothing to do with them. It wasn't until I actually Googled the small details that I remember from my dream that made me think that the dream had remnants of the conversation that we just had. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I'm just waking up to to that, and I need to cut my eyebrows up a little bit. I wash my hair out, and it feels really good. I don't think I'm gonna detangle it right now. But the shower just acted as one of those those things, you know. I was like, wash this shit out. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> Get rid of it. But anyway, it was a good shower. It was. But today, I have a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock. I don't know why it's so late. But I think this doctor's appointment is actually going to be the doctor's appointment where they have a nurse come in from the pharmacy and try to convince me to take some multiple sclerosis medicine. They compare my original MRI results from my most recent MRI results. My original is one, the first one I've ever taken back in 2012 when I had nine lesions on my back, I mean on my spine and my brain. So this time around they're going to compare nine lesions to 20 lesions. I now have 20 lesions collectively on my back and my spine. <sighs> but, oh, and then I need to drop off this stuff that I got from the grocery store for my grandma. She just wanted me to pick up a few things, so I'm gonna drop that off before I go to the doctor's appointment. She also made some beans, and she texted me this morning that I should have some, so. I'm gonna go have some beans with my grandma. <laughs> So I'm all ready to go. This is what I'm wearing, some basic. These pants, I'm at. Let me see if I can put y'all up here. No. Right here. So these are the pants that I'm wearing. I'm actually thinking about giving these to what you call it, because they are really tight. As you can see, it's separating my flat nap. But they make my butt look really good. They're just like capris. Yeah, and then I'm gonna wear my gray Uggs. I forgot where I got this shirt, but it's cropped. And it has this little cutout in the back. And because I still have not Wash my freaking clothes. I got the wrong bra on. Oh, I need lotion. That lotion, but oil. 
This is grapeseed. I plan on getting my feet done after um, going to my doctor's appointment. This is the makeup. I haven't put like this much makeup on in a minute, so I definitely feel cute. <laughs> I didn't use any foundation or anything. I just did concealer, set it with some Fenty Honey, and put some blush on. I didn't even contour, but I did contour my nose a little bit. These sunglasses. These ones here, I left my other ones at my grandmother's. I was thinking about wearing this purse I got from Shein. So cute, right? Or this purse I got from Shein. I showed y'all this already, but I don't know. This purse or this purse? Sometimes, depending on which bag I, I take, it kind of helps me. I feel like this might be psychological, but it gives me a little leverage when I'm walking. I don't know. And I was actually thinking about carrying my cane today. Look at me, y'all. Crazy that I gotta... But I think that it would help me out a lot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and carry it. I don't even think it's clashing with my outfit. But I think that it'll be okay. So maybe I shouldn't wear the clear purse because you can see my wallet. You know what I mean? What the fuck I got. What I'm carrying. And I got a cane. I'm about to go to Atlanta. Grady to be exact. Um, if you know, you know. But I probably shouldn't do that. Um, I don't want to look like no weak ass target. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Although I would. Boo. Bitch. Ooh, that, was, that was actually pretty good. But yeah, here are the groceries. I definitely still need to go grab my grandmother some um some fudge sickles sugar free and she said she wanted some egg i need to grab that and still have time to eat some of her beans before i go to the hospital so for a bag i'm gonna wear this so that i can put my weapon i mean my cane <laughs> in here like so boom bada bing just like that and then I can carry my camera you guys and I can just have my hands free for when I carry my grandma's groceries and go to the store and that's it yeah she's out mm -hmm. grandma I know you're probably watching this but they didn't have no fudge sickles so I got some sugar free uh, sugar free cookies I Okay, I'm about to get out of here. Uh, what do you want to cook? 
with ham years ago. I mean, I put the, I, I had some ham. I put the butter in the ham. Butter in the ham? Ooh. Something is good, you know. But this was close as I could get to some ham. But I put the whole pound in there. And so the, the grease from the bacon, flavor is good. Who the babies? I'll have some bacon just to cook some meat. Because this is the perfect amount of It's no salt. No, 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 ain't no salt in it. Have you ever read the label off this bacon? Ooh, grandma, them good. Grandma, this is the best thing I had in a, in a minute, oh, grandma. That's so good. Now, see, I got a lot of juice. I've had two bowls. I did. That is good, grandma. Mm. That's why I was telling you. I wanted to tell you that they had to do it. these are good. <laughs> the walk away. Yeah, that's good. No, it is not that. My grandma means good. about Western medicine I'm just I'm not excited about it and it's really because I have a little PTSD when it comes to it real quick but when I was first diagnosed with MS I got on a medication three months after diagnosis I didn't do any research on it that could definitely be my fault but I was a little afraid like somebody just told me this horrible illness and this is what my life is gonna be like in 10 years blah 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 I was taking Avonex when I was on the medication I was definitely a lot more sick than I am now but anyway that's all I'm gonna say I don't feel like dealing with the symptoms I'm gonna go in there and hear and listen to what they talking about but most likely I want to take the holistic route um, and I know that that takes a lot of work as well but I feel like with dieting and a good like maintaining a good diet exercise um, just staying prayed the fuck up I don't want to be dependent in any way and and that's no shade to anybody out there that is struggling with multiple sclerosis or any other form of illness and you are taking medication this is literally just all i'm talking about me i don't want to deal with the symptoms of a medication more than i'm dealing with my actual illness itself and that's home period but i'm gonna go in there and see what they're talking about i'm here already shit i'm late <laughs> i'm such a rebel <gasps> no but for real let me go sure it's going to be a very quick appointment um, I just went through my vitals my pressure was beautiful right now I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in and convince me of taking this medication <laughs> y'all if you don't know by now I'm very dramatic so I'm just waiting don't look at my gut hopefully I mean, I keep saying hopefully. I already know what time it is. You know what I mean? I already know what time it is. And maybe they'll be saying something different this time around, like a cure. <laughs> like that's what we need to be talking about, my fucking cure, bitch. No, I'm kidding, but I'm not at the same time. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm just talking shit. But, um, I would like for you guys to sit right here next to me, but 
I ain't that bold yet. But I might press record when she start talking. Maybe you guys can hear some um some information. I don't know. But either way, I'll still elaborate and talk to you guys once I'm out of this bitch. Um yeah. Um, what I would like to do is send you with some information on Ogrevis and Kisanto. Okay. How yes. would you feel about, we can follow up by phone or we can follow up in person um, in a few weeks, like maybe two weeks or so? Does that work? do it by phone. Um, yeah, if we can do it by phone, that's fine. Because um, what we would have to do is if we start talking about these a little bit more and need to move forward, we need to be have to be able to sign it. So okay. if you have email, or I can text yeah. you a form. Um, okay. Usually, if you have the capability to print or e-sign, yes, those are okay. okay. Um, I'll be honest with these forms; they are a little antiquated, so it's almost like you have to print them, sign them, and you can send me back a photo of it that I okay. can upload. Um, or the other option is to go ahead and sign today, or we schedule a time where we can sign in person. Okay, let me go get some information, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Bruh. Bruh. Wait till I get the fuck up out of here, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all all about it, okay? I just feel some type of way. Something. Like, how, how is it that y'all got? How is it that y'all got? It's a new multiple sclerosis medicine from the last time we talked about this shit. The one that we talked about prior is not a good recommendation anymore. Y'all wait till the wait till I get up out of here. Wait till I get up out of here. To be honest, this shit is really rough. I'm not gonna hold you. It really is. I joke a lot because all I have is my humor at this point. Humor is my defense mechanism. I'm very aware of that. But, um, I definitely have a decision to make. Let's get a pedicure up here, like, boopy. some damn wheelies. I'm about to go home and I'll talk to y'all when I get there. Oh, where the keys? I need a glass of wine. That's what I need. That's what I need. I just got some nachos. Ooh, these look so good too. With just a little bit of sour cream. I'm trying to stay away from the dairy, but you can't have a taco nacho without a little sour cream. Anyway, I had a, a decent day. Um, I need a fork. So the doctor's appointment went okay. You know what I mean? It went all right. It, it went exactly how I thought it was going to go as far as them convincing me of taking medication for my multiple sclerosis. I didn't really have a good 
time with the medication prior. I'm not saying for anybody to not take their medication for whatever reason. In my time of taking medication, it just wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a good time. Meaning I didn't, I wasn't feeling my best already from the jump, but taking the Avonex before, I was literally dealing with the symptoms more than I was the actual illness itself. So I had a problem with that. It's supposed to help prevent relapses and stuff like that. Relapses is basically when your body struggles the most. Um, but while I was on the medication, that's when I was having the most relapses. She did mention the fact that, yeah, you know, you want the qual the best quality of life, right? And I was like, yeah. Um, so getting on a medication will basically just elongate my progression. Because everything progresses with time, of course. I, I'm still doing really good for a person that has had, had a... Uh, for a person that has had the, you know, condition um, for as long as I have and not being on medication. But I feel like I had a bunch of questions that she couldn't answer. She was just a pharmacist. You know, I need the, the list of questions that I had were actually for my neurologist. So I'll see them in maybe a month and a half and I'll ask those questions. This the, this the shit though, this the shit. Last time we had the conversation about medication, the medication that she brought to my attention was two. It was one called Mavenclad and one called Ogrevis. I mean, they're both supposed to do the same thing, but ultimately you go through different processes in order to, you know, get that treatment. So the first one that she recommended um, months and months ago, she no longer recommends that medic that medication anymore. I feel some type of way about that. Cause how is it that you don't recommend it no more, but you were so sure of it then? You know, <sighs> it be shit like that that really fucks with me when it comes to this. Because at the end of the day, like I said, this is just my opinion. Doctors don't know every fucking thing. I'm not saying I know more, but shit. I definitely am getting to know my body and have had to get to know my body over the years. You know what I mean? And I just know how the pharmaceutical companies just prey on the sick and prey on the elderly. That shit, I don't know, you know? I don't know. This ain't even that good. I'd much rather go with the holistic, natural route, but that's something I have to Be, be very serious about my newest lesion is on my cervical spine and when I googled that that's up here and a lot of elderly people deal with um, issues with their cervical spine so when she said that it just made me feel like oh you know and I do have a problem with posture that's something I gotta work on and she mentioned a medicine that I had never even heard of. I ain't even, I ain't even seen no commercial for the shit. It's called Casimta. What turned me off about this bitch? Kiki. That's what I'ma call her. That bitch is an injection that I would have to do once a month in my abdomen. Bruh. Like what? Sometimes I can't believe this is like my life. But hey, what the fuck ever. We all gonna do something sick, not sick. Everybody, this world is getting a little crazy. That's why spiritually, I just been trying to stay focused.
stay elevated. Keep my vibrations high. Keep the motherfuckers around me that don't have my best interest at heart. Like, people, people are becoming so freaking weird these days. <laughs> Ever since that veil has been lifted, baby. Oh my baby. So that was his first day at camp. And he's not going all summer, so y'all will see him in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, I was finished this food. I love y'all. I love y'all for real. It's like we just met, but I'm already telling you that I love you. But it's cool. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Oh. <sighs> okay, bye. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a, a new day. I had no intentions on recording today, just because I wanted to catch up on editing. <coughs> Didn't want to be like too far behind or anything. I did want to share a thought. Um, and I try to be as transparent as possible on my channel, especially when it comes to. Stop playing with the fucking day. Ah! What the fuck? My illness, which shapes my life. Um, Honestly, um, it's not that important. Cause I can't get past the forest that is embedded in the bottom row of my teeth. What? What are you even saying? <laughs> first, I just want to say thank you. And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. You caught me at a bad moment. Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> And this song, come on. You gave me a show the way I need She's getting her MS treatment. This treatment is called Okravis. She does once every six months, I believe. That was one of my options. She be so sad. It's hard for me not to be sad about it. You get what I'm saying? Like, where is the life? Because we are living. It's just a moment. It's going to pass. Because right now, I'm not in any pain whatsoever. I'm not in any pain. I'm not uncomfortable. I'm always a little uncomfortable, but I'm not in any pain. And that is an, a great thing. And I'm thankful, you know. Um, it's better for me to find things that I am grateful for while I'm down in the dumps. Because down in the dumps is okay. As long as you're not down in the dumps all day. That rhymes. Never at ease. I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the breaststrokes.